Hello everyone, welcome to another one of our Arduino tutorials. In this lab, we'll be going over how to hook up an external analog to digital converter to our Arduino. This device is much more accurate than the built-in analog to digital converter on the Arduino. It has 16 bits, which means that it is a much higher resolution. At the maximum gain settings, which we'll go over later, it has 0.187 millivolts per bit, whereas the Arduino's internal analog digital converter has about 5 millivolts per bit, which makes this much, much more accurate than the internal analog to digital converter, which is why it's a great device to use in situations where you want a highly accurate measurement of your voltages. This device communicates through I2C, so I'll we'll need to set up the circuit with that. And today we're also using the TMP temperature sensor in order to demonstrate the increased accuracy of this analog to digital converter. To connect the analog to digital converter to our Arduino, we need to make sure to supply it with power from the Arduino, so from the 5 volt pin to VDD on the device. We also need to make sure to connect ground to ground, and to connect SCL and SDA to the Arduino. So we've connected SCL, so the clock, to A5 on the Arduino through the yellow wires, and SDA through the orange wires to A4 on the Arduino. We also have some 10k ohm resistors here acting as pull-up resistors that go from the 5 volt line to the analog pins and SCL and SDA. If you remember from the I2C lab, this is necessary because it'll make sure that our circuit performs correctly because we can't guarantee that these devices are going to pull the circuit high, only that they'll pull it low. The temperature sensor is set up just like we did in lab 2 with VN going to the pin on the left if you're facing the flat side, V out, so the actual measurement going to both A0 on the Arduino and A0 on the I2C device, and ground on the pin to the far right just connecting to ground there. That's our circuit, and now that we've gone over how we can build it, let's go over some code so we can actually read in those values from the temperature sensor and compare the values that we see on the Arduino. It's built-in analog to digital converter to the I2C device 16-bit analog to digital converter's values. All right, now that we've gone over our hardware and what the circuitry will look like for reading in the temperature sensor through both the external and internal analog to digital converters we're using today. We need to go over some of the code so that we can actually see those values and then we're going to compare those values to a multimeter and show that the external analog to digital converter is definitely superior to that one that's built into the Arduino. So to begin our code, we need to first include two libraries. They are the Wire and Adafruit ADS1015 libraries. The Wire library is one that's built into the Arduino IDE. You just need to include it at the top. If you remember, we use this library in our I2C tutorial. We need to include it here because the external analog to digital converter is an I2C device. The second library, the Adafruit ADS1015, is one that you will have to download from the GitHub repository we've linked in the description. It's a library that was created by Adafruit and is made specifically for this device. It's quite useful in that it abstracts all of the I2C communications, so you don't really need to understand the protocol in order to use the device. You just need to include the library and then call some functions and it'll handle all of the communications like sending specific bytes and waiting for responses and stuff like that. However, we still do recommend that you learn about I2C, so we've linked in the description a link to our I2C tutorial, so you should probably check that out if you're curious at all about how the protocol works on a fundamental level. After including those two libraries, we instantiate an Adafruit ADS1115 called ADS. This is what allows us to communicate with the uh, external analog digital converter inside of setup. We begin communications with the device with ads.begin. This initializes the analog to digital converter and sends some default values such as the gain. We'll go over that a bit more in the next section of the video, but 
basically all it does is set some basic values so that the maximum voltage you can theoretically read in into the analog digital converter is 6.144 volts. After that we do serial.begin 9600 so we can see the values on our serial monitor later. Inside of loop we read in both the high resolution and low resolution values. So from the high resolution, that's the external analog digital converter, we do ads.read adc underscore single ended zero. This means we're just reading the raw value at analog pin zero on the external analog to digital converter. For the low resolution value, we just use analog read zero. So you know how that works. We're just reading in the temperature value on A0 that's built into the Arduino. Then we're gonna print high res, and then afterward we're gonna actually print the value. So we're gonna print the high res integer that we read in, then multiply by 6.144, because that's the maximum voltage, like I said earlier, and then divide by 32,767, because that's equal to two to the 15th minus one, because 15 bits are actually being used to measure the voltage at the pit. It is a 16-bit analog to digital converter, but the 16th bit, that final bit there, is being used as a sign bit because the device can read in a negative differential voltage. We'll go over that in the next section, but basically because it can theoretically read in a negative value, the 16th bit is being used as a sign bit, not for the value itself. Therefore, only 15 bits are representing the actual maximum voltage of the uh, reading of 6.144. So you do 6.144 divided by 2 to the 15th minus 1. Then we're going to print low resolution and then uh, do low res times 5 divided by 1023. It's the same logic as above that we covered in lab 2 where you multiply by the maximum voltage and divide by the maximum voltage's bit representation. So uh, 2 to the 10th minus 1 for the low resolution. Now that we've gone over our code, we can just upload it here. And then once it is uploaded, we will go to our serial monitor. And from then, we will look at the high resolution and low resolution values and compare them to the reading on the multimeter in front of me. All right, it is uploading. There we go, serial monitor. Turn off auto scroll there. As you can see, once it stabilizes, it's somewhere between 0.72 and 0.73 on the high resolution, and the low resolution says 0.76. Now, if you look at the multimeter here, it says that it is a reading of 0.72, which is very close to what high resolution is. It's fluctuating between 0.72 and 0.73, which is, again, much different than the 0.76 of the low resolution. Consequently, we can tell that the High resolution analog to digital converter definitely does a better job of representing the actual voltage at the pin because it is in closer agreement with our multimeter. All right, now that we've gone over single-ended readings, we'll go over in the next section where we talk about how to read in differential voltages, so the voltage difference between two analog pins on the external analog to digital converter, and how to manipulate the gain on the analog to digital converter. See you there.